If I mentioned I hate this car, if not, you're probably going to hear it a lot. Especially right now. So, the last video I did was the update of uh, all the stuff I did to the car. When I popped the hood, when I was going for a ride, I smelled coolant and I seen a little bit of uh, smoke coming from over here. So, you know, I thought it was this line when I did the bypass. wasn't that. So then, uh, this line right here that goes to the top of the water pump, the very bottom part I've seen was, um, it's like weeping coolant out of the hose, and, um, so I thought it was that. I changed it. What I did is just cut, uh, this thing off of this side and ran a piece of hose. So, if you're going to do this, most people say they use three-quarter inch hose, uh, use five-eighths. That's a lot more snug on there because with uh, three quarters I tighten the clamp down as much as I could and it still is just uh, too big of a hole so it started leaking. Five eighths fits perfectly. So anyway I thought it was it. I started it up, saw that it was leaking and then once I shut it off, that's when I looked underneath and seen that it was leaking like straight down here and it was getting all over the uh, harmonic balancer so then I'm like, right, well it's the water pump and um, thing that sucks is obviously the Opti Spark. I knew that wasn't replaced so while I had the water pump off I got into one of those I got a new belt um, new harmonic balancer because the rubber in the old one was pretty much dry, brittle, and uh, cracking and I actually had this car all put back together, uh, put coolant in it, wanted to go start it, wouldn't start. I turned the key forward and when I let off, uh, it would pop a couple times out of the exhaust so I knew the timing was off and I want to tell you why. Stupid me. I keep doubting myself and I keep listening to other people who make videos and um, so the 92 and 94 has a spline shaft design, kind of looks like this, and it has a wider um, notch in there. It's pretty much looks like a keyway that was just like integrated into the shaft. That one really can only go on one way. And uh, one of the videos I watched said the same thing for this style, it can only go on one way. And again, it kind of looks like it, because you can see that thing right down in here, right there. I had a line coming from here up. I'll tell you about that in a second. But anyway, that um, little tab there is supposed to go into this one right here, this square or rectangle one. And then you got these other two things here that kind of look like a pellet for a pellet gun or something. Well, anyway, I listened to the guy and he's like, oh, it can only go on one way. And at first, I believed him, so what I did to get this on easier is I took the cap off and I just spun the uh, rotor around until it just fell into place. I didn't have to push on it at all. It just fell into place like it was meant to be there. So I'm like, all right, it can only go on one way. So once that was in, I buttoned everything down. Um, yeah, so I put it all back together, went to go start it, and the thing was just popping. So I'm like, all right, I know the timing is off. I'm like, well, how can that be? It only goes on one way. But I can tell you right now, that is not true. That little, uh, thing coming off the cam can and will fit in any three of these holes so it was supposed to be you know lining up right here and the one with the square rectangle was like down there so i'm pretty much it was like 180 degrees off and um when i first did this i did not replace either of these two seals because it didn't look like they were leaking but this time um, you know, I was like, well, maybe that's a sign that I should have replaced them. So I did that while I am here. And this time I have a new Opti 
because luckily, well, not luckily, but the last one, when I took it off, maybe from having it in that wrong little hole, did something to it, kind of like bent it. But either way, the um, this little part here was completely like bent to one side, and this it would not spin at all. It was 100% locked up. So luckily, um, the warranty, they gave me another one. What I originally had planned was if this old Opti here was in good shape, I was going to just replace the cap and rotor. But um, as you can see right now, this is supposed to spin freely. And while it's moving pretty easily right now, when I first got it off, it was way worse. Like it was almost locked up itself. So I'm like, well, it's probably definitely why it was running crappy. And inside this cap was horrendous. The rotor had some weird, like, build-up, like, bubbling metal. And the little terminals in there were completely corroded. And they had almost, like, gouges in them from where the rotor was sitting it just for wearing it out. But, like, the terminals had a little curve like that where the roller probably wasn't even making contact with it so that was one thing and I, I'm not doing it the way I did it the last time I'm not going to take the cap off because I think that was also another thing that happened to me was um, I took the cap off did make it 10 times easier to get that back in there but when I went to go put the screws for the cap back on these bottom two I was using a ratchet and it felt snug, but I didn't feel that it was tight enough, so I just kept going and going and going. So I might have drawn that in more and maybe bent it that way. So this time, like I said, I got the line there on the seal. I got the line in that part in the cam. I'm going to make a line on the new Opti right here so I can kind of know that, that the middle where that line is has to go around there. So now I'm just going to try, you know, fidgeting with it that way and now I want to tell you something about this thing right here this thing pissed me off so if you don't know you need a special tool to get that seal over that little shaft because there's this old yellow thing here is kind of like a paper material but it's stronger and then there's a piece of rubber on the back so when you try getting it over this little lip right here this thing's pretty sharp so you can rip those two things and uh you know there's a tool you're supposed to get from gm costs like a hundred dollars or you can get this piece of crap on amazon i would not recommend it i paid 10 bucks for this and did not do its job because when i went to go put it on here you can see there's still a little bit of gap well if i were to hammer this on all the way it would probably get stuck so that's what happened to me. I ended up ripping it. And so what I did is I read people were using highlighters, uh, the body or the highlighter caps. So this is a cap that I just drilled out the center of it. And this will fit all the way back where it needs to. So that's what I did. And if you use this, just hold it there. You know, push the uh, seal on there the right way. It goes like this so the front part with the that yellow paper is should be facing you and the back row part faces the back where this cap kind of like flares out at the end and what you want to do is leave it there push the seal over that and when you go to push this seal over this little thing you're still might gonna feel a little bit of resistance but um you know, don't be worried. That's just a seal trying to like realign itself. If you do it very gently, you should be good. But leave that cap in place. Do not remove it. So what I did is I left it there. I pushed the seal on there. And once I got it around that little thing there, I took a uh, socket, pushed it back a little bit, uh, hit it a couple times with a hammer. And once that's back far enough, once you take that socket away, this uh, that little cap, pretty much fall right out so therefore it will be all the way around that edge and you can just start hammering it back again with the socket and it might have been another thing too is I used three quarters uh, inch socket the first time and I think that was a little bit too small so I might have hit around the area where the gasket is the second time I used a uh, 
I think it was a 13 16 or 11 16 one of the two, but it's the one step up from uh, three quarters. So that's what I got going, got going on right now. Um, I'm going to try getting the Opti in soon. I'm just really treading it, but I do want to get this car back together and running again so I can drive it before it has to be put away for the winter. So I just wanted to make this video to let you know, don't be stupid like me and fall for everything you hear, especially with this thing. And, um, especially with these also. So, hopefully in the next video, this thing should be back together and running, I hope.